Hi, everybody. My name is Chris, and I am a peer advisor in the START Advising Office. And today we're going to be talking about degree works and how it actually works. So I am going to share my screen and go through degree works uh, piece by piece and get you this information as concisely and effectively as possible. So let's see, give me one second. I'm going to share my screen and we will get this going. All right. Okay, so everybody should be able to see this, I hope. Uh, if not, then I will just re-record. Okay, so throughout this presentation, we're going to provide you with a basic understanding of the program, how to access your audit, what your audit actually is, teach you how to utilize what-if audits, as they're called, and then talk about how to use this program for planning your future courses. So pretty much it is our hope that you will be able to read your audits accurately and use that information as a guide for future course planning after this crash course. So what is DegreeWorks? DegreeWorks is your online degree audit. It's a guide on classes that you should be taking. It is not an official transcript and it is not a replacement for academic advising. So first we need to talk about how to access it. Firstly, you're going to need to go to the school website, the URL to which is shown in step one. Scroll down to the bottom and click on U of M Dearborn Connect. Then once you're redirected to the website, you're going to follow the instructions as shown in steps three through five by clicking on Enter Secure Area, logging in with your unique name and password, clicking the Student Services tab, and then finally getting to DegreeWorks. I'll also mention now that this presentation, both the recording and the slides, are going to be posted on the peer advising website. So if anybody wants it, you know, refer your friends to this website and this information will be here. So once you get to DegreeWorks, you are going to find your audit. Your audit is a worksheet that shows your current degree program and all of the requirements needed to graduate from that program with your degree. At the beginning of the worksheet, you'll see your own student information at the top. You will also be able to see who your assigned advisor is so that you will know who to reach out to for assistance in the future. If any of your information is incorrect in your degree works worksheet, contact your advisor to resolve the issue. Once you scroll down, you will see the graduation requirements for your specific degree, but in a rather blocky way. These requirements that you are looking at now are not individual courses. Rather, they each branch off into more specific requirements that entail individual courses. But to keep things simple, DegreeWorks offers this basic overview so that you can see generally where you are at in your progress towards graduation without having to sift through the more specific requirements. So now we're going to talk about each of these sections in more detail. The Dearborn Discovery Corps courses are required by each student. These are your general education requirements that set you up for success in other academic areas. These can be taken at any time throughout your academic career and students are encouraged to find the best ways that these courses fit into their schedule each semester. Don't put them off. Now depending on your major, you may need a foreign language requirement. At this point on your degree works worksheet is where you will find that. You will also find the pre-major requirements for your major. Some majors have more than just one course necessary and others are more relaxed. So now we will get into the major requirements. These are the courses that you need to take to complete your major. And descriptions for each of the options for your potential courses will be listed also once you click on the requirements. Now, because I am a senior and this stuff is almost done for me. My degree works page, which is shown here, will look a little different than yours. Finally, we conclude the audit with the requirements for a minor, should you declare one, in addition to your upper level course requirements. 
The upper level course requirements can be satisfied by any upper level course, even ones that you take specifically for your major or minor. This is not an independent set of courses that you need to take like the Dearborn Discovery Corps course, courses. It is just a different requirement, essentially grouped in with your existing degree plan. Now, this is the end of the slides, but I want to conclude the overall presentation by talking about the what if function on DegreeWorks. If you go to the top of your DegreeWorks page, you will see an icon that says what if. It might actually be up here. It isn't, so I am going to show you mine. So you should all be able to see this. So this is my personal degree works sheet. This is everything that was just shown in those slides. By academic, it means current, essentially. So what I am actually doing is what is shown below. What if, if you click on what if, this is what I'm going to explain now. If you click on this, you can insert specific courses that you plan on taking in the future. And by processing that future plan, it will not automatically change your degree in any way, but rather it will allow you to see how the courses that you plan on taking will get you closer to graduation and what function they will serve. Now, personally, I find this to be a very useful function and I encourage you all to use it as much as you possibly can when it comes to registering for future semesters. You can also change your entire major using this function. The purpose of doing this in particular would be if one is considering changing his or her major or adding a minor or something like that. In processing what if worksheets like this, you'll be able to see how the classes that you have already taken will transfer over into your future major or minor so that you can accurately see how far along in your journey you are both with your current degree and with your potential future degree. Now, like I said before, this presentation is on the Peer Advising website. Share it with your friends. This is valuable information that everybody should be aware of. Um, we're also going to be hosting future crash courses throughout the month of November that relate to registration and planning for your future semesters that we encourage everybody to attend. If you'd like more information about these future sessions or more information about this particular crash course itself, feel free to email the peer advising email, which can also be found on the peer advising webpage, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. But if nobody has any last minute questions, then I just wanna say thank you on behalf of the peer advising team. I know we are grateful that you are watching this and we hope that it has benefited you in some way. So with that, have a great day, everybody. And once again, please feel free to reach out should you have any questions.